when messages is integrated with Apple Calendar and Apple Reminders, it can be a powerful collaboration space. Do you need to plan a trip with your friends or a get together with your extended family? Look no further than messages. Hey guys, it's Uncle Dan, back with Paperless X. Today we'll be going through some super useful tips on how you can integrate messages with Apple Calendar and Apple Reminders to organize events and tasks. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any of our videos. When chatting in messages about going on a holiday trip, you send each other dates and times to find the perfect time slot for everyone. On whichever device you use, data detection can pick up these dates and times in your chat and underlines them. Without leaving messages, you can simply tap on a date and choose to create an event for it. Messages auto fills your date and time with the information already in your chat. We love this because it doesn't take you away from your chat. When your date doesn't have a time set for it, the app creates an all-day event. Before scheduling any event, you can long press the detected times and dates to quickly check your schedule. You want to avoid scheduling two events at the same time. Sadly, you can only see a small part of your day. Let's hope in the future we'll be able to scroll through this pop-up to see the whole day, in case there is a better time slot on our schedule. You can then name your event and add all the details you have discussed before adding your event to Apple Calendar. Once you save your event, moving back and forth is fairly straightforward. It's the perfect way to track the event and the conversation about it. Apple Calendar automatically links back to your messages and you can easily navigate between the two apps with ease. Data detection recognizes natural phrases such as tomorrow at 5 p.m., tonight at 8 p.m., and next week on Monday, which is cool. However, the feature feels buggy. It's always a hit and miss when you use it often. Sometimes it can easily recognize the dates and times. At other times, no matter what you do, you can't get it to work. We have tried closing and reopening the app and rebooting our devices, but nothing works. Another limitation with this integration is that we can't invite all members in our chat group to the event we created from the chat. You have to add them one by one. Messages doesn't even suggest them. We should have an option to invite everyone in the group or have a list of our chat members to simply tap on their names to invite them to the event we have created. However, if you are already sharing a calendar with everyone in your chat, you won't need to invite them at all. It is a simpler automation that makes this workflow more pleasant to use. When you need to assign tasks for different people to complete for the trip, creating a reminder is better than creating an event. This pretty much works the same way that your events do. The app auto fills all the information from your chat. We love the fact that this feels like Apple Reminders, so it's familiar and easy to get around if you already use the app. You can easily choose the list you are collaborating on in Apple Reminders. But this is where it gets disappointing. You can't assign tasks directly from here. The option is simply not available on the pop-up. Going back and forth between Apple Reminders and Messages is unpleasant. We should be able to assign tasks to people we are already collaborating with. The Apple Reminders integration with Messages still has plenty of important features missing. You cannot add a URL or a location to your reminder. You also can't create subtasks. We really do hope that Apple brings these features to our integration between messages and Apple reminders. It is better to do everything without leaving messages. Though it has some drawbacks, this workflow is ideal for small groups and teams that are in the Apple ecosystem. For simple planning and collaboration, you might not need to purchase third-party apps to get things done. 
We hope this video was useful and that you will use your planning apps like a pro. Thanks for watching.